Transverse acetabular fracture. In transverse acetabular fracture, you find the anterior column and the posterior column are fractured. In fact, it is the only elementary fracture that involves both columns. The iliopectineal, which is anterior column line, and the ilioacheal, which is the posterior column line, both are interrupted. And because of this, there's a confusion about both column fractured and the associated both column. Transverse fracture involve the anterior column and the posterior column, but it is not an associated both column fracture, which is a different entity than the transverse fracture. Transverse fracture, the articular surface is still continuous with the ilium and with the axial skeleton. So if you have both column fracture and you have additional fracture going to the ilium, then it is an associated both column fracture. And in CT scan, the fracture will be coronal. The patient will have a floating astablum the astablum will be disconnected from the axial skeleton. In the CT scan, you will find the additional fracture of the ilium, and the fracture of the associated both column will be coronal. In transverse fracture, the fracture will be sagittal, will be going from anterior to posterior. So if the transverse fracture goes up and involves the ilium, then it is an associated both column fracture. And if the fracture goes down and involves the obturator foramen, then the fracture is a T fracture. The transverse fracture can be different types. The more superior the fracture line, the greater the displacement of the establer dome will be. The femoral head follows the inferior issue pubic fragment and may dislocate centrally. The three types of transverse the high transverse or the transtactal, which occurs through the roof of the establum, that's a bad one. Sometimes it leaves a dent on the femoral head. So you need to pull the femoral head away from the establer margin. And the second type is called justa tactile. The fracture is through the junction of the establer dome and the fossa stabuli. The infratactile one the fracture goes through the fossa estabuli. So the cotyloid fossa is split horizontally. The femoral head remains with the weight-bearing estabular dome and does not displace medially. In CT scan, the transverse fracture does not appear transverse, but it appears as a sagittal fracture that goes from anterior to posterior. So just remember, transverse is really not transverse. It is a vertical fracture. Follow the CT scan, proximal and distal, and distinguish transverse fracture from a posterior wall fracture. Transverse and posterior wall fracture, it is the most common associated fracture. And if there is a large posterior wall fracture, then you need to approach the fracture posteriorly. Usually, the transverse component is reduced first before the posterior wall is reduced.
In general, when you treat transverse acetabular fracture by a posterior plate, the plate must be prepent, otherwise it will create a gap in the anterior column. Or use a lag screw before application of the posterior plate. Insert the screws of the posterior plate into the safe zone of the establum and away from the dangerous zone of the establum. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.